In this video, I am going to hopefully show you how to solve the Alex problem called recognizing and naming lattices with cubic unit cells. Alex, it seems like it's a little bit picky with this problem. If you can see here, I've already gotten this answer incorrect one time. Uh, for this problem, you're being given a picture of a cubic unit cell and you're being asked to give the name of the unit cell. So first of all, um, when you're just looking at these unit cells coming up with their names, recognize that all of the unit cells are gonna have atoms in the corners. So we're gonna ignore the atoms in the corners and we're just gonna look for the other atoms in the unit cell. For example, in this one, I have that blue atom that's floating in the center of the unit cell. That makes it a body-centered cubic unit cell. So what I tried typing originally was body-centered. Alex did not accept that answer. Down on the bottom, it says your answer has to be a word, a very short phrase, or a standard abbreviation. Body-centered is not an acceptable answer. Uh, I did not use a hyphen. I just typed two words, body-centered. I'm gonna try, so this time around, I'm gonna try the abbreviation for body-centered cubic unit cell. The abbreviation is BCC. And we'll see if it likes that abbreviation. So it looks like that's what it wants. Don't type um, the word or very short phrase. I don't know exactly why I got it wrong, but go with the abbreviations and that's going to work. So this is the other type of problem that you're gonna see for this Alex problem. This one is asking you to select the sketch that shows a simple, cubic unit cell. And what you have to do is just kind of scroll through and you've got eight different options here. Now, for whatever reason, when I'm solving this problem on my iPad, the um, the cubic unit cell is, as, as you can see, it's super off-centered. It's all the way over on the right-hand side and we can't see some of it. It doesn't look like that when I'm solving this problem on my computer. So I don't know why it's this way on the iPad, but we can see enough of the cubic unit cell that we can actually pick the, the correct answer. We don't need to see the whole entire thing. For the simple cubic unit cell, I'm just looking for the one that has the atoms in the corners, just in the corners. It looks like this, this one, number six, is going to be our simple cubic unit cell. Uh, even though they're not all the same color, this is going to be the correct answer for this problem.